extra glide on there, yeah. That went in easy. It's aluminum. <laughs> yeah. Hello guys, welcome to today's Captain's Vlog. It's 1223 hours on Thursday, February 11th, 2016. We're here with Batman. Bye, hey. He's got the pump in and the tube on and it's starting to look like something. Why'd you put the pump way to one side? Because you have the, uh, the outlets coming out on one side. I'm trying to keep the hose as straight oh, as possible. Oh, okay. Because if you go extreme to one way or the other, you'll kind of notice it. Just the way the stiff posing works. I trust you. Casey's making a box. This is for the saw midget and half demonstration we're working on. <laughs> we could totally do a saw girl and half thing. Like, I actually know how to build that if you guys want to. So, glue this in place. It will. You know what I saw? Like, that made me a little sad. Let go! Uh, yeah, this entire panel slides out. It'll all be one piece, yeah. like, what are you gonna do? Put a, like, a grub screw through the back kind of thing? Or? No, we're gonna probably glue it in. Maybe grub screw. Okay. I think we're gonna glue it in. Cog um, could work fine for that. Yeah. yeah. And then all the internals on the bottom will be available, including changing the SD card or hitting the button on the Arduino and whatnot. So we're gonna want a hole. To reach through and hit the button on the Arduino without having to take it in and out because that's something you have to do every time you turn it on. It's okay, we just cut a hole. And then you can like push the button and flip the switch right through, the, right through a hole in this so you've got an access for it. It's not a big deal. I thought we were mounting the button and the switch off of oh. You don't actually have to reach in, so that's what you were doing. Well, the switch we could hard mount to the side really easily on a side. I wouldn't do it on the back. But the uh, the button is on, I don't know where that, the button is on here. That's entirely possible. Because I think the only reason you did it that way is because it was staying on the board. Yeah, we could we could put the button, we, we can move the button. Okay. The button is movable. Okay. So don't worry about the hole. Alright, and now I'm just going to worry about the box and getting it on here. Yeah, that's I got to see if I'm going to do well out this weekend to handle that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build the box, then I'm going to let you two tell me where the electronics go. Okay. And then I'll drill the whole Did you make the back. square? The no, upper piece? Okay. It's six by six inches. Let me know when you've got it, and then we'll start figuring that out. Cool. What are you up to? Putting out an order. Okay. Big one. Really cool. annoying. Actually... The volunteer person who's at the bandsaw is helping me with it. He's okay. A really cool guy. Yeah, he's cool. About. I've I've met him. He's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's really cool. It's getting prettier by the minute. So this will be done today. Should be. Yeah. Cool. <sighs> so we've got that going on. I should interview him for the blog. I should do a Patreon thing. Because I push through the... This is not squared up again. Well, I can see that there's like a slight bevel. Yeah. But no one is going to Okay. Yes. See here when I push this up against the wall. And that's okay. Um, I mean, it's, it's really kind of good to so um, just do the best you can. Also, once it, it's going to get to the point where you can't really do much. Right. And you can just do this, like put it up against the fence. Yeah. And if you do it from back here, you're away from the blade. So. I just I know that. If this just don't not, go once it once it gets thin. Don't worry. Okay. Well, I can't see when I do this. It's yeah. It's it's it narrower. It looks, looks funny, but they're they're coming out. Okay. So, so and I, is it, are you going to tumble this? Uh, these are going to tumble so that it'll knock all these corners off, all this rough stuff. Okay. 
and it'll kind of sand it a little bit. Because when someone wears it, for sure. Okay. Hey Batman, yeah. where'd you find this tubing? That one came from supply. That one I stole from high voltage. Okay, because it's foam core. Yeah. When I'm repairing shit in the building, I use foam core. Okay, I'm just making sure this isn't any of the PVC pipe that you got me from the thing no. when I said go to stuff. Okay, cool. Just make this, sure. this is pipe we've had for a while. Okay. PVC pipe, cellular core, shit pipe. But we take that pipe, it's shit for high put it in, it's shit for high voltage for anything else, and it's all right. And we put it on there. Now we've got a jet nacelle. Jet nacelle. What? It gives us another thing when we finally do uh, the air cannon video. Ooh! Foam core versus solid core versus copper. Show people how to get plastic embedded in their face. Yeah! We'll have to get some, some ballistics gel when we do that shoot. Okay. That'd be fun. So, you take your uh, <laughs> EDF jet engine, you mount it in your tube. And you put it on the street luge. I know how I'm gonna die. You know, when you said jet engine, I was thinking like, we're strapping like a propane tank on there as well, <laughs> jet engine. I this was is thinking, not the Colin Ferguson. I was, I was thinking level Colin Ferguson. Yeah, I don't have his budget. I have to spend his money. budget. <laughs> he, he has a serious budget for well, shit. Well, he does that, nowadays, but yeah. we're making him, you know, did you not see his... Oh, I've seen it. Out of, his, out of a toilet paper roll holder. <laughs> worked. Almost cost him his arm, but it worked. <laughs> no, I'm just. I just got into this as an idea because I got playing with EDF engines for the RC stuff and was like, "Hey, well, I can do that." So I think, I think that'll only really work because it's a luge because of the well bearings. But other than that. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what we're gonna get out of it. Have we? But I want to find out. Have we powered out. those up yet? Yeah, they they move some air. They 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 move enough air that you put it on here and this will move. So I mean, so it doesn't take a lot to move this anyway. Pushes you back uphill. <laughs> that would, on its own, be pretty awesome. No, the test site that I'm gonna use for this is Garfield Street, out where I grew up, because it's dead flat. I'll, we'll test it out there. As long as it doesn't like, oh, I know a street and barely any traffic. Fucking traffic. No, you got you got on Garfield and Coopersville. It's pretty dead. God, anywhere in Coopersville. Yeah. It's pretty dead, yeah. except so, like right by the school. But you get out in the Presidents, and you're far enough outside of town that it's dead. It's Garfield, Taft, Wilson. Just You get out on the President streets, and it's pretty dead. Dead Presidents? God, <laughs> can't cope with this. <laughs> All right, so the next step is we start figuring out how to mount these to here. Nice. Big ass zip ties. I got some big ass zip ties. <laughs> Do this right now. In other that's, news, that's here's Batman's battery. cock drying. Mm -hmm. And once that's dry, then we'll put it on the thing. thing. Yep. I didn't want to seal it up anyway because there's caulk on the inside drying as well. Yeah, and this this is looking nice. So this is this is Batman's. All right. And, uh, and this is Casey's. Yeah, we need Mr. Kidwell and Sam to come out and uh, mm. do some rocking Make out. But Paul, he wants to bring parts so we can put. I want to put the skip button on the side along with an with the MIDI port on the side of the plastic. So keep yeah. that in mind when you come in. Because if we can do that, then we can have everything fully enclosed and it's good to go. That's, that's where we're headed. Damn sexy.
And it, it won't be blue, it'll be clear. This is jank and will get redone. I'll probably wind a new secondary because this is, I think, well, a Kidwell secondary. Well, secondary is not too bad, but that's, the bolt is... Yeah. <laughs> I would have wind a new primary, new secondary. I can do that. <laughs> Kidwell comment, let me know what size wire that you want for that and I'll wind a new secondary. We'll be back. This is all round one prototype stuff, so I'm not really worried. We're gonna we're right. gonna end up redoing that anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna sand that all down. I gotta find that nice cobalt blue. I can't get Rust-Oleum spray paint in the colors I want in town. There's like one blue at Home Depot. Well, that's at Home Depot. If you actually go to like Menards or Lowe's, they have more yeah. colors. Okay. I'll go checking it out. I think it was Menards I was just at. I was like, wow, they have way more stuff. For Might blue paint? Find it in the metallic. All right. Well, that'd be cool. Now, do those have nuts on the back, or is that yeah, just they're nylon? Nice. Okay, cool. None of it's stainless. It's all nylon. Okay. It's not like you're trusting your life to with these little. 832. I think we can do better. Any of those grade nines we picked up? Yeah, it's just had a hard life. Well, no, it's it's a flat-headed bolt. And I thought it was like a regular bolt. That's my high-tech camera mount. He's sanding so we can get down to bare metal. We got the luge completely stripped down. KC worked up some grub screw mounts. So we've got the EDF engine in there. Nice little nacelle. We'll glue them up. And then just some clamps left over from the uh, rooftop uh, mount of stuff. And I used a number 22 drill for a 1030. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> so there's up the butt. <laughs> and we'll add uh, another tube here for housing stuff. But that's that's the beginnings. That's our jet pack. It took me 20 years. I finally got a legit jet pack. <laughs> and we're going to mount that. Where their, their jet packs and yeah. cover cars are. I, well, tomorrow I'll wear my jet work. pack shirt. <laughs> so this is our uh, high high test mount, oh, yeah. which is totally not for an anemic little antenna pole. I love that this is a standard antenna pole mount. And this is what we use to mount our antenna poles, which is kind of cool. <laughs> so this is going to be bad as hell. I got to get a pair of 250 amp ESCs. So if you want to help out on this, we need a pair of 250 amp ESCs because, oh my god. Um, I should actually, here, can you pop one of those out? You want a camera? Yeah. Okay. I just, I gotta get the data off it for lab notes, and then we can find out exactly These what size. These were only made for one use, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's aerospace. It's only gotta work once.
Thank you, sir. That's in there good. I just dump it. I don't think you can just dump it. You gotta... Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. it's like that now. So I didn't deburr the inside. <laughs> Alright, so we have... <laughs> Dr. Mad Thrust. It's an 1800 kV motor. Serial number L00A19524. No model number. But we know it's an 1800 kV motor. And uh, what's our OD on this? Grab your mm -hmm. calipers. Give me the ID, the throat. It'll be in millimeters. Well, I'm using not millimeters. You're using not millimeters. Yes. All right, what do you got in inches? <laughs> Three, two, two, one. 3.221 inches? Yeah. All right. Using your inch to metric converter there? Yeah. Essentially 82 millimeters. Okay. Basically. So it's probably what they call an 80 millimeter ducted fan. It's it's just about 82 millimeters. So that's the size, now you know. And uh, we need to find ESCs, good, decent quality ESCs for these. We'll need two of them. And uh, then we'll start with research. It's going to be cool.